The lights was back this year, big time. The final numbers are in, and organizers say close to half a million people strolled through the gates. A lot more people than they expected, in fact. Now they are already looking ahead to next year and expanding. Oh, I'm super excited that it's back. Oh gosh, it's amazing. Trail of Lights 2012. It was missing from Christmas. This is something that we used to do uh, from the time that she was born. And so uh, just to be able to bring, bring her back is going to be fantastic. The welcome return of an Austin tradition. It's something that, that really brings the entire community together. After money troubles forced the city to shut it down the last two years, Runtech's CEO Paul Carroza led the charge to collect donations and get the lights turned back on. The opening night was off the charts, and every night since has just been great. The weather's been perfect. Uh, the lights, you know, the, uh, you can just see it on the kids' faces. It's just uh, uh, magic. Now, Carosa tells KXAN he wants the magic to continue. With the success of 2012, an average 50,000 people a night, he'd like to expand next year from one week to two. We really want to make this a significant fundraiser at the end of the year for the Austin nonprofit community. Expanding the event might also help alleviate what turned into long lines and parking and traffic nightmares. Carosa wants to keep the event free, but says next year he'd like to see free tickets for staggered entry times, which would help with traffic and crowd control. I'm just really excited that it's that it's here and yeah, it's beautiful. One thing's for sure, the trail is a tradition many are happy to have back and one they hope is back to stay. Well, Carosa says he would like the Trail of Lights to go until New Year's Eve in 2013, ending with a big countdown to the new year on December 31st. The planning, we're told, has already begun. The Trail of Lights isn't the only game.